Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to talk about something really interesting topic. Not interesting, a necessary topic because if you don't follow that guidelines then DJCA will not allow you to sit in the examination. So watch this video till the end as in this video we are going to talk about, about my experience with the examination, how I gave the examination, uh, DGCA guidelines for session 2 of 2020 and some important frequently asked questions which many students have asked us. So let us get started. First of all, I will talk about DGCA guidelines, which they have issued in a three pages, a big notice, big sentences, but I will summarize it. Uh, for the first point is that reach on the time because uh, they have mentioned 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. So don't worry about that. Reach one hour before your examination time. So yes, you must reach on time because otherwise DGCA is really getting strict and I have seen a couple of students from my college who have not uh, allowed the entry in the examination center after they reach uh, late in the examination so please remember this in your mind second point is really important you must carry admit card and uh, dgca has told about color preferable but you can also take black and white also uh, but it should be clear completely visible your pick is also in black and white no distortion of the print should be allowed uh, it is not allowed so yes you should carry a admit card with you uh, black and white or color nothing doesn't matter so yes, you must carry your admit card. Number three, along with admit card, you must carry government approved ID, which is issued by government, including all the documents listed here. So you can see complete list here. You must carry that. Remember this point, driving license and PAN card is not allowed. So you must remember this. Always keep this in your mind. Uh, carry Aadhaar card, passport, which is mentioned here. One more important point, uh, when you are sitting to the examination almost uh, 30 minutes before uh, the starting of the examination they will uh, issue all the roll number along with your seat number and room number so carefully check it out now this is very crucial point no electronic gadgets nothing no smartwatch no smartphone is allowed in the center so if you are first time giving the examination no smartphone or smartwatch is allowed so please remember this the next important point is don't argue with examiner or the checkers uh, standing at the gate because they are going to check you with all the documents and then only they will allow you they will ask you your roll number room number so be careful and write on the admit card with the pencil or pen at the back of the admit card your room number and center uh, because it, it will be really easy for examiner to check it out now don't get nervous or tensed while sitting in the examination hall because sometimes they will uh, take you in uh, 30 minutes before sometimes 15 minutes before or sometimes 10 minutes before so at that time this time period is really difficult to because you are excited about the examination so wait and don't tense uh, just uh, calmly sit there and relaxly give the examination now many students are asked that uh, while solving through the mcqs uh, will they get the uh, rough paper or rough sheet blank sheet so yes you are able to get the rough sheet or rough paper but always carry your pen inside because nowadays covid is going on so you carry your pen and uh, yes they will allow it they will check your pen and anything is found there they will not allow but yes uh, you can carry your pen and they will provide the blank sheet you cannot carry that with yours uh, with uh, while coming back to the home so remember to give it back to them one more important thing uh, the smartphone or the mobile phone you are carrying to the center it's not means if it is stolen your phone is stolen then DGC is not responsible they have clearly stated in the instructions apart from that the most important thing while sitting in the examination hall don't talk with anyone unless you have any query regarding and raise your hand and call the examiner if you are giving it for the first time it's really important to note that you should not talk with anyone okay because uh, they will think that you are doing copy or anything so yes they will restrict you or they will also reject sometimes computer number so yes please don't do that uh, don't ask anyone don't tell anyone if someone is asking please focus on your exam this point is also important don't write anything on your admit card because they will check it and if they found that you have written the question or some anything which is not relevant to examination then they will found it as a copy and they will reject you so please don't do that uh, don't write the question 
uh, just remember in your mind and then come outside and write it on a paper now this were some points which i have mentioned if you are first time examination giver then it will help you i think so and if you have any doubt you can mention it in the comment section and i request all our family members to uh, mention a doubt if you have any and yes i will try to answer now the frequently asked questions but still i cannot answer all the questions so yes you can write it down and i will try to reply each and every comment now let's see some frequently asked question the question number 1 is whether admit card is allowed for your travel because uh, if you are from the mumbai you know better that in local train nowadays no one is allowed actually without any card or any passes so yes admit card is allowed for your local travel because you can show them as a proof that yes you are going for the government examination dgc examination so they will allow and i am not sure about the delhi metro but yes you can still use it Uh, if someone somebody ask you some inspector or some C C R P F jawan or some railway staff, so yes, you can show them. And if you are traveling from the bus, if someone if somebody ask you, then also you can show that. And in public transport, in private transport, it's not necessary. So yes, you can use your admit card as a proof for travel. Now many students have asked me about 15 second update. What is that? So I will again repeat it. The 15 second update is like if you are uh, on the first question. uh you can see on the screen if you are on the first question then you need to wait for 15 second timer is going on there if you move to second question then also you will have 15 minute timer and without that in the next question the next question you cannot move on that so remember this thing because it you might get panic at that time so please uh, be patient and uh, calmly solve it now question arises why dgc did this dgc did this because uh, you have lot of time uh for the examination as per the uh, questions are mcq so you can solve quickly but uh, when the 15 second timer comes you pause that time and uh, also to prevent the coping because sometimes your students are whispering some answers so yes if you you do not do not uh, directly go from 1 to 10 or like that in quickly so yeah they have paused it so that you don't have that uh, you can say patience so that you just complete your examination and then leave the room I know you have left uh, less than three days or four days because this video will be uploaded in on Sunday, so you might be having only three to four days. So yes, I know it's short time, but uh, still try to read the books, paragraphs, and uh, many students have doubt that whether by just uh, referring to notes and questions whether they will clear. Yes, you can clear, but it's on your luck sometimes, and sometimes you fail. So yes, don't do that. uh try to read books because uh, for 3 days you can continuously read the books and then rest after the examination now i will read out some special instruction for covid-19 from the dgca so yeah some candidate should check the reporting entry time at the center given in admit card and strictly abide by them yes we already discussed about it so you must be on time or before that because it's covid 19 time and many people are not allowed to crowd so yes if you are reaching late then you have to long stand back in the queue so remember this candidate need to maintain social distancing at least 6 meter or uh, 6 feet so you you remember it also candidate should sanitize hand yes you need to sanitize your hand before entering in the examination after signing the examination sheet which uh, which is attendance sheet then candidates are instructed to wear mask yes this is very important you should wear mask before entering into the examination center and also not remove it always wear it i know it you will feel suffocated sometimes because in while examination you have lot of pressure but still it's for everyone's safety so please wear it then some points are yes you will be checked with the body temperature and yes it will be checked and you must uh, strictly adhere to the security staff instructions so please follow the safety precautions for ours as well as our colleagues and friends safety so i wish you all a good luck and again i will share some of my experience now if your center is at 2 hour distance from your house then please uh, leave 3 hours before and reach there and if you have a really good group of the friend then you can reach early means 2 hours early the examination and discuss some really important questions notes about the dumb points which will help you in the examination so always try to uh, discuss something before examination so that it will refresh your memory and it will keep your mind fresh about the points and it will also tell you the correct answer so 
please do that now this thing is very important regarding washroom whether you are allowed uh, while sitting in the examination if examination is started then you are not allowed but if the nature of your emergency is really you can say uh, tight then you are allowed but you should uh, consider that you are not allowed so do it before the examination and then after the examination you can do it so yes during the examination you must always focus on the screen only now this is really crucial don't go to the home directly because sit there discuss the questions and write it down the previous questions which will help you which help you if you fail in the next attempt or it will help your friend who are giving in the next attempt so please write the questions so that everyone get it i know many of the students are writing but if many more students are writing with the correct answer so that it will be easy for upcoming students to give the examination with that i will end this video if you have any query if you have any questions mention in the comment section and i wish you all a good luck and without wasting any time i will say oh uh, all the very best and don't panic be patient and maintain all the safety precaution follow all the safety precaution and see you in another video till then all the best stay safe jai hind